Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, didst vouchsafe to give joy to the whole world, grant we beseech thee that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In Tuoi volere fare Dei, et in quelli che vi gai dugum dugum eum. Iuri camerei se giorni calum et decente non sancta, ma nomine ed colorò sorrone. Quei tu est Deus, foti tu numai, quarte felicis, quae trisis in cielo, ut vigi mendicus. E vede lutium tu regretatum tu, nibis me dux, ronde tu dux, ero ti montum sanctum tuo, ut camerata la tua. Et in Tuoi volere fare Dei, et in quelli che vi gai dugum dugum eum. Compitable to be in Chitara, Deus, Deus, Meus, quite this anima mea, the work of Dubas, me. Spare in Deus, Ponyo, and at all compitable to you, salute Hare Bultus, me, at Deus, Meus. Gloria, Patri, et Filio, Spiritu, et Santo, si poderat in principio, et non get sempre, et in secula seculorum, Amen. In tua volatare de, et in quili divica di un tutum meum. Auditorium nostrum in nomine Domini, qui feci ce in metera. Come, Fiti, O Venus, O Tempi, Via, Maria, Tempi, Ubi, Via, 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 Misericordia, fini di tempi e giri, scritti e scritti, di te, 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 Here you are, Rego Beatam, Mariam, Sempidigin, and Beatam, Kaid, Matangelum, Beatam, Ioan, Baptista, Sanctus Apostles, Petrus, Paulum, Omnes, Sanctus, Sete, Pate, or Radicome, a Domino del Nostrum. This is the Otto Vesci, the Gutensius, the Miss Fugatis Vesci, the Duke, and was a Vita Metanam. Amen. In Lugenis, the Messusion, the Metamission, the Metatorno, Sorum, Tribute, and Notice of Little Tent, the Metericus Dominus. Amen. Those to converse with the Vita Bisna. And flames to let our victory in pain. Post in the Domus Domini Misericordia Tua. And salutare tuum da nobis. Domine gladiazione mea. E clamo mesa te bene. Dominus obiscum. Et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. Stat with thy dominus testamentum pacis et principem feci teu, ut si tibi sacerdoti in dignitas in eternum. Alleluia, alleluia. Memento Domine Dave, de Domines mansuitui de Eseus. Gloria, Pati et Filio, et Spiritu et Santo, sicuderat in principio e nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Stat with thy dominus testamentum pacis et principem feci teu, ut si tibi sacerdoti in dignitas in eternum. Alleluia, alleluia. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus mori voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias a Jesus tibi propte magnum gloriam tuam, Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens, Domine Filio Regenite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Onius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccato mundi, suscipe, deprecationem nostram, qui seres ed exeram patris, miserere nobis, quoni am tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, com sanctus spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Ex obis et cum spirito tuo. Ordemus. Deus, qui hodierne de sanctum tuum pontificem, aut helmum ad eterna sublimasti gaudia, ilius quaesimus meritis e precipus illuc nos tua pedu per misericordia. 
Per Dominum nostrum Iaesum Christum Filium Tuum, che tecum vivo da regno ad una netta di Spiritus Sancti Deus, per la mia secula seculorum. Amen. Orre Fus. Ancia ed ec paesmus ad ipotens Deus, ut qui hodi arna de unigenitum Tuum Redemptorem nostrum a celos ascendisse credimus, ipse se quoque mentem celesticus habitem. Regum tuum pastere carne placatus intende, et verbe acum urbanum maquirum tuum atque sumum pontificem, perpetua protectione custodi, quem dosius ecclesia praesisti esse pastorem. Per Dominum nostrum Iaesum Christum filium tuum, che tecum vivere regno ad unitati solitus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum, ave, orne vus. Deus, in te sparantium fortitudo qui beatum, Gregorium confessorem tuum atque pontificem protuenda ecclesia elevitate, per tuo de constantia roborasti, da nobis eius exemplo et intercessia ne omnia refesantia foti ter superare. Per Dominum nostrum Iaesum Christum filium tuum, et ecum vivere regno ad unanitatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex libri sapientiae. Ece se cedos magnus, quindi ebus suis placuit Deo, et inventus est iustus, et in temporario cundi e factus est reconciliatio. On est inventus similis ili, qui conservavit legem excelsi, id Deo iure iorrando fecit ilum dominus crescere in febum suam. Benedictionem omnium gentium derit ili, et testamentum suam confirmavit sur retabus Deus. Agnovit Deo in benedictionibus suis, conservavit ili misericordiam suam, et invenit grazie ancora moculi stomini. Domino suo viscum, et cum spirito tuo, sequenzie santi evangelii secundum et terum, gloria a tibi domini. In ilo tempore, dixit Iesus, discipulus suis parabolam hai, homo per greco fiscenus vocavit servus suos et gradivit ilis bona sua, et uni dedit quinqua talenta da li autum duo a li vero uno moniqui quei secundum propriam vetutem e profectus estatim. A vit autem qui quinta talenta le ceperat et operatus est in es et lucratus est alia quinque. Similiter et qui duo a ceperat lucratus est alia duo. Qui autum uno me ceperat aviens fodit in terram et obscondit pecuniam domini sui. Post motum vero temporis veni dominus sevorem ilorum et possuit rationem cum eis. Et eccellent qui quinque talente le cetera et obtuli talia quinque talente dicens, Domine quinque talente dret distimiti, e ce alia quinque supra frutus sum. Ed ili Dominus eius, iuge serve boni e fidelis, qui a super pauca fluesti fidelis, super monte te constituam, intra in gaudium Domini tui. Accesit autem et qui duo talente le cetera te teis, Domine duo talente dret distimiti, e ce alia duo lucratus sum. Ed ili Dominus eus, iuge serve boni e fidelis, quia super pauca fruisti fidelis, super monte te constituam, intra in gaudium Domini tui. Laus, tibi Christe. On this, the Feast of St. Aldhelm of Malmesbury, the lesson is taken from the Book of Ecclesiasticus. Here was a great priest whose life was acceptable to God and proved ever faithful to him. When the day of retribution came, he made amends for all. Where shall we find another to keep the law of the Most High as he kept it? So it was the Lord took an oath that he should be the father of his chosen people. The Lord gave him the blessing which should extend to all nations, renewing the covenant in his person, ratifying the blessings he uttered and singled him out for favour, such grace he found in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord made him great in the sight of kings and crowned him with glory. He made a covenant with him forever, entrusting him with the great office of the priesthood and enriching him with high honour. He was to serve the Lord as his priest, privileged to act in his name and to offer incense to him acceptable in its fragrance. And the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St Matthew. At this time, Jesus told this parable to his disciples. A man who was going on his travels called his trusted servants to him and committed his money to their charge. He gave five talents to one, two to another, and one to another, according to their several abilities, and with that he set out on his journey. 
The man who had received five talents went and traded with them until he had made a profit of five talents more. And in the same way, he who had received two made a profit of two. Whereas he who had received but one went off and made a hole in the ground and there hid his master's money. Long afterwards, the master of those servants came back and entered into a reckoning with them. And so the man who had received five talents came forward and brought five talents more. Lord, he said, it was five talents thou gavest me. See how I have made a profit of five talents besides. And his master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since thou hast been faithful over little things, I have great things to commit to thy charge. Come and share the joy of thy Lord. Then came the man who had received the two talents. Lord, he said, it was two talents thou gavest me. See how I have made a profit of two talents besides. And his master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since thou hast been faithful over little things, I have great things to commit to thy charge. Come and share the joy of thy Lord. Ave Maria, grazie plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tu mulieribus, e benedictus fructus ventis tu Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, non quitter l'ali motis nostre. Amen. In nomine Patris e Filii e Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, as we said, the Feast of St. Aldhelm of Malmesbury, or Malmesbury, uh, otherwise sometimes known as St. Aldhelm of Sherborn, of which he was bishop from 705 AD until his death. Uh, we also commemorate today uh, Pope St. Urban I, martyr of Rome, also to Hildebrand, Pope Gregory VII, of Rome and of course the octave of the ascension of our Lord. St Aldhelm uh, who lived uh, during the 7th century uh, was uh, first and foremost a monk and a scholar. Uh, he studied uh, and entered the religious life at uh, Malmesbury uh, there with the founding uh, monk, an Irishman uh, variously known by different translations of his name, uh, but Maeldun, who himself, of course, then would lend his name or give his name uh, to the place, Malmesbury or Malmesbury. Uh, and then, uh, 14 years he was uh, there, he uh, studied uh, under this Irish monk, and then uh, when Theodore of Tarsus became Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, he was... Uh, called to the monastery at Canterbury and there studied under the uh, great scholar Hadrian. Uh, he was known uh, exceptionally for his command of the Latin uh, tongue, uh, writing many treatises, many po much poetry, uh, much prose uh, in the Latin tongue and indeed is acknowledged by Bede, the Venerable, in his ecclesiastical history. Uh, as being the exemplar of the Latin tongue uh, at that time uh, in our nation. Famed then for his uh, scholarship, his wisdom, um, also too for his piety and for, of course, his charity. When he became Bishop of Sherborne, which was not something that he relished, uh, not something he would have chosen for himself, uh, the diocese was newly created, uh, having the previous see of Winchester being divided into two, Winchester and Sherborne. Uh, and there he built uh, what would be the foundations now of the great Norman uh, Abbey Church at Sherborne. Uh, he uh, established uh, both at Sherborne and at Frome. Uh, and uh, in Somerset and uh, somewhere else, uh, the name of which escapes me, uh, other monasteries, uh, these uh, which he put under the rule of St. Benedict. Uh, though he himself had originally been appointed uh, by Theodore as abbot of Malmesbury, uh, he would later, by instituting the rule of St. Benedict, uh, encourage another election. Uh, one of the uh, signifying uh, things about the rule of St. Benedict is its democratic uh, nature, the hierarchy and the organisation uh, of the uh, religious house. Uh, so it's normal in Benedictine monasteries for uh, the monks, the professed monks, those who are solemnly professed, who have uh, made their lifelong vows, uh, to elect from among their number 
uh, their abbot. Um, so it was that he was re-elected then by the chapter uh, at Malmesbury uh, as their abbot. As Bishop of Sherborne, he took seriously the apostolic charge that all bishops inherit to teach and preach the faith. And he would think nothing of going into the town uh, and uh, singing hymns, uh, often uh, some of which he had composed or he himself had translated. Uh, other songs which he was also famed for, but which sadly none have uh, pertained to this day, but they were still sung and known in the time of uh, King Alfred. Uh, but uh, uh, he would sing these uh, songs, uh, all of them designed to convey uh, and communicate the Christian faith. Uh, and he was not above clowning about a bit in his um, orations. He was not uh, uh, above making a fool of himself for Christ in order to arrest and attract uh, listeners. There's something there, my brothers and sisters, that perhaps many prelates uh, might uh, think about today, although not many of them need encouragement of being foolish, but some of them perhaps uh, would do better to try to be foolish for the sake of Christ's kingdom rather than for the secular values which they tend to prefer. Likewise, Hildebrand, who we also commemorate today, uh, Bishop of Rome, uh, was also a Benedictine monk uh, of Cluny Abbey uh, and was a remarkable personality and is generally regarded as one of the most, uh, as one of the greatest or one of the most controversial uh, popes in the church's history. He was the seventh of the name Gregory. He particularly uh, was uh, uh, concerned with purifying and unifying the church in his day. Uh, he lived uh, during the 11th century. Uh, one of the things uh, that he brought uh, into, well, began to bring uh, into the church as a discipline was celibacy uh, of the clergy. Uh, he tried to tackle simony uh, and lay investiture. Uh, this was where, for example, um, uh, simony is uh, the crime of paying for religious things, so paying for relics, for example, paying for paying to receive holy orders. Um, this was not. Uh, this was something that the the nobility often did at the time, particularly to secure positions of influence and power uh, for their sons. Uh, often, the younger sons, as tradition tells us, uh, were to be given to the church but this uh, but sometimes uh, nobles were not above trying to pay a little money to uh, ensure that their uh, son would fast become a bishop and have some power and influence otherwise uh, people would pay uh, for themselves or other lay people uh, to hold ecclesiastical offices uh, so that sometimes it was possible to be an, an archdeacon or um, a rector, uh, or even sometimes to hold a bishopric whilst not actually being an ordained cleric, uh, but being able to uh, claim the tithes uh, that were paid uh, to that particular ecclesiastical office. All these things uh, Gregory VII uh, tried to counter. And this brought him, of course, uh, into various disagreements with powerful figures at the time, uh, not least of all the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry IV, but who eventually um, yielded uh, and even bent the knee in reparation and repentance uh, to the Holy Father. We also today commemorate St Urban, who succeeded uh, Pope St Callistus as Bishop of Rome, uh, and St Urban was Bishop of Rome from 222 to 230 AD, during the third century. During his pontificate, the church enjoyed peace, largely because the emperor, Alexander Severus, forbade the persecution laws to be enforced. 
Of special interest, though, is a decree ascribed to Pope Urban regarding the use made of gifts offered by the faithful at Mass. To quote, the gifts of the faithful that are offered to the Lord can only be used for ecclesiastical purposes, for the common good of the Christian community and for the poor. For they are the consecrated gifts of the faithful, the atonement offering of sinners and the patrimony of the needy. So St Urban I, Pope and uh, Martyr. So all these uh, three great personages we remember today. And it's unusual because Ascension is uh, a little later than, than is sometimes the case. They all fall within the octave of the Ascension. And the Gospel today speaks to us of the talents, the parable of the talents. Now, uh, for the sake of those of you, and I know many of you are regular viewers, I'm not going to regurgitate uh, my uh, uh, well-worn homily on uh, the parable of the talents. But I do want to refer to last Thursday and the Ascension Day Mass, and indeed to the uh, introit and to the words of the two angels who address themselves in the Acts of the Apostles uh, to the Apostles after our Lord has ascended. Men of Galilee, what are you wandering at, looking heavenwards? In the same way you have watched him going into heaven, he will come back. In many ways, my brothers and sisters, those two angels are reminding the apostles and the disciples who were there at the ascension to not waste time to not waste time, but to get on with the charge, the great commission that they had just received from Christ, to go and preach the gospel to all nations and bring souls to baptism in the name of the Blessed Trinity. Which same charge, of course, we, my brothers and sisters, severally and individually, are also charged with. And I will say, as I, have, I know I've said it many times, but it's important for each and every one of us who have been baptised to realise that when we received baptism, we too received this same divine commission, this same commandment to proclaim the gospel. Each and every one of us, blessed by God with gifts, skills, talents and abilities, that variously we discern for ourselves, we realise them, we hone them, we discipline them, we train them, and often we make money from them. But the real purpose for which they were given to us was to make known God's will to the world, was for us to proclaim the gospel, was for us to use and employ these skills, talents and abilities and dispositions that we, each and every one of us, have to bring others to the saving knowledge of God, of his love for them and of his desire for them, to know him in this life and for all eternity to be with him. These three personages whom we commemorate today, each in their turn, each in their sphere, each in their time and place, made a point of manifesting Love for God, such that they were made fools of, such that they were despised by others, such that they gave their lives for. Each used the gifts, skills, talents and abilities and predispositions that they had received from God. They honed them, they trained them, they developed them. They did not waste them, and they used them for the furtherance of God's kingdom here on earth. They used them for the salvation of souls. They humbled and humiliated and bore humiliations for the sake of the gospel. They were not afraid nor ashamed to live Christ crucified 
in their lives, in the manner of their living, by practicing discipline and self-control, by observing God's law and commandments, by practicing and teaching the law of charity and the divine economy. They shared their learning, their wisdom, their experience, the lessons that life had taught them and that living the faith had taught them. These they imparted to others for the benefit of the whole community of the church. Each in his turn used the sacred office of the apostolic ministry in the episcopate to further the kingdom of God, to bring healing, to bring teaching, to bring wholeness to the people of God. All these things, my brothers and sisters, we too, in various ways, unique ways, can likewise affect for the whole community of the body of Christ, the church militant here on earth, in our own sphere, in our own place, in our own time. Each and every one of us is likewise called to be humble, to be humiliated, Each and every one of us is called to share, to share of God's providence toward us, to share our knowledge and experience of the love of God, to share the lessons that life and faith have taught us, to proclaim the gospel by the living of our lives as much as by any verbal testimony we might give. How many of us are happy to be humiliated for Christ's sake, just as Christ was humiliated for ours? How many of us are prepared to follow after that example of St Paul, like St Aldhelm, and ourselves make ourselves fools for Christ. How many of us are willing and prepared to share the lessons in life and love of God that we have learned? How many of us are prepared to communicate the stories of the saints to a new generation? How many of us have prepared ourselves or equipped ourselves to fulfill our own particular vocation and our own particular responsibility for the Great Commission. As I've said again many times, the imposed lockdown has provided a window of time and opportunity for us as Christians to study and learn, to develop and discipline and hone the various ways in which we might, utilising God's given talents to us, skills and abilities, predispositions and experiences of life, to share that hope which is in us, to share the story of our faith, of our coming to faith, of our living the faith, in order to bring others to the faith. Let us, my brothers and sisters, not waste this time. Let us so equip ourselves that when 
when the restrictions are lifted, when a kind of normalcy returns to the world around us, we will be prepared to burst forth, as it were, from the prison of lockdown to share our faith, to share our belief in the risen Christ, to share our Christian hope and the expectation that each and every one of us has for our salvation. Let's use this time to deepen our knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, of the church's doctrines and disciplines, of the lives of the saints. Let us use the time to hone and, uh, and develop our personal testimonies, the ways in which we may be able to give an account for that hope which is in us, the ways in which we may be able to provide answers as to why we believe and why others should believe too. There are wonderful evangelists recorded on YouTube that I personally would commend the following to you to hear, to listen, to learn, to study and from them glean the answers in apologetics necessary to equip yourself to be able to explain your faith in Christ. People like Ravi Zachariah, who sadly passed away last week. Though an evangelical Protestant, he had a great knowledge of the scriptures, but also of philosophy. When you watch Ravi, it's beautiful how he is able both to refer to scripture and indeed to literature in a wider sense, to prose and poetry, and to scientific and philosophical thoughts and concepts, and utilise them all to present the faith and to answer some challenging questions that most of us have either asked ourselves or been asked. Likewise, Canon J. John Again, another Protestant, but um, whose charm and personality communicates the faith in a non-challenging way. He often speaks really in rounds of anecdotes and personal testimonies that are immediately... Um, that you will immediately be able uh, to um, recognise and, and identify yourself with. He's great for encouragement. And Father Michael Schmitz from Ascension Presents, who again, rather like J. John, uh, is, is a dynamo of contained energy and enthusiasm, but again, who is able to communicate truths of the Catholic faith in appreciable and immediately understandable ways and language that, again, will be very useful for us to employ so that we can engage people in normal conversation discussing normal things, but infused with the gospel, infused with the apostolic faith. Dr. William Lane Craig, another apologist available on YouTube. Again, a Protestant, but perhaps one of the greatest 
philosophical Christian apologists of our generation. He has debated, you name it, every famous atheist there is. He has debated them on the existence of God, on ethics. His clear, concise, logical thought processes, again, make difficult things or complicated concepts very quick and easy to understand. And there are others too I could name. But these are my own regular go-tos. Do not think, my brothers and sisters, that as much as, of course, I tell you to discern and to hone and to discipline the skills, gifts, talents and abilities and predispositions that God has given you for his will and for his mission. That does not mean to say that you cannot utilise the skill, gifts, talents and abilities and dispositions of others as well. The Orthodox Catholic faith has always been pragmatic as an aspect of its incarnational nature. There's no point in reinventing the wheel. There are some great Christian apologists and Catholic apologists out there. And you can access their wisdom, their insight, their experiences, their anecdotes for free. And I, and I assure you, uh, not only will you learn, but you will also be entertained from listening and watching uh, these apologists. Utilise this time that you may be utilised by God effectively. So that you may be able to bring your loved ones to salvation. That you may be able to grow and strengthen and develop the Christian community around you, playing your full part in that great commission that we all share. And in so doing, we may bring glory and give glory to God, who is Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all. God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, 
And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father. Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sin. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dominus suaviscum et cum spirito tuo. Orde In venit habit sempre meum, oreo sancto meo unsi eum, manus enim meo sariabitore, et brachium meum confortabit eum. Alleluia.
Secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spirito tuo, sosum corda, pebemus <coughs> et dominum, gracias a camus, domino Deo nostro, dignum et justum eis. Vere dignum et justum est eicum et salutare, nos divi sempre dubi quae gracias agile, domine sancte pater, omnipotens et tene Deus. Per Christum Dominum nostrum, qui post resurrectionem suam omnibus discipulis suis manifestus et parvi, et ipsis scenensibus est elevatus in cerum, ut et nos divinitatis sue retribuere desi participes. Et in Deo comangelis et archangelis controlis et dominationibus, conque omnibus celestis et exercitus, in un gloria et oec animus sine fine dicentes. Sanctus. Sanctus. Sanctus, Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis un cieli et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
no response with the authority. Erram ja sikula sikulorum. Amen. Orde, sprecia di salutaribus maleki di veris luzioni pomati ad emus vigile. Ad andaster qui es in cieli sanctificetum nomen tuum, ad veni ad regum tuum te volontas tua, si pot in cielo et in terra. Ad andasum quadriam de nobis faudie, dimitem nobis debita nostra, signo nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et de nos inducas in tentazione. De libra nossa mano. Erra mia secula seculorum. Amen. Acta Domini sit semper vobiscum. Et cum spirito tuo. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccato mundi, non a nobis pace. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine, non sum dignus ut in tres utectum meum, se tantum dic verbo et sen nabitur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignus ut in tres utectum meum, se tantum dic verbo et sen nabitur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignus ut in tres utectum meum, se tantum dic verbo et sen nabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament. 
we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee.
in Dominus Vobiscum et cum Spirito Tuo. Parle Deus. Solemnitatem caesmus tabene beati pontificis ad helmic, celebrantibus ed esto propitius, et nobis eius meritis concedi gaudia celestia. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, et eicum vivere regna ad unanitatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordebus. Presta nobis caesmus omnipotens et misericors Deus, ut quae visibilibus misterii instrumento percepimus, invisibili consequamo refecti. Multiplica caesmus domini in ecclesia tua spiritum gratiae quem delisti, ut viaci urba anima tiris tui atque sumi pontificis de precazione, nec pastordi obedentia gregis, nec regi desit curma pastoris. Per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, et ego vivere regna ad unanitati solitus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde. Refexione sancta e nutritam gubena Christmus Domine, tuam placatus ecclesiam, ut potenti materazioni directa ed incrementa libertatis e cipriat, ed in religionis integritatis resistat. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum filium tuum, et eicum vivere regna ad unanitatis spiritus sancti Deus, per romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, ite misa est, Deo gratias. In nome Domine Benedictum, ex o nunc adusco in secula, ad utorium nostrum, in nomine Domini, qui feci celum et terram, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus. Pater, et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Nominus Obiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo, initium Sancti Evangelii secundum Ioannem, Gloria Tibi Domini. In principio re verbum, et verbum, et acudeum, et Deus re verbum, hoc erat in principio acudeum, omnium ripsum factus, untis simso factus, in quod factum est. In iso viterat, et viterat, lux hominum, et lux interim, et lux eleternum, et non comprehendeum. Quid homo misto sedet come nomine laci vanes, in veriti testimonium ut testimonium bebere tu lumine tom des tretum et vignum. Non in literi lux et ut testimonium bebere tu lumine, ere lux vere qua lumine ad omnem hominem venientem in hoc mundum. In mundum erat mundus prepsum factus est in mundus in hoc mundum iovi, di proprio i veriti sum non riceperum. Quar curatem riceperum de emdes vore statum filios dei fieri che spiegrendi nomine eius. Qui non le sanguinibus nec volentati canis, nec volentati viris et exdevenat in sunt. Et verbum carro factum est, Intravitabit in nobis et vinimus gloriam.